making a praise video. I gotta praise the Lord that my niece Ashley has come out of her coma and uh, she's going to see her right now. Along with, the, with everybody else in my family, no doubt. They're all probably going down the same road if they're not already there. I guess she woke up in the middle of the night last night and um, the hospital didn't let anybody know. So my nephew, who's her father, um, went in to see her this morning. He was the first one there. And it's really it's really neat that he happened to be the one that, that would be the first one to see her. And uh, yeah, I'm just really amazed that the place wasn't full of people this morning, but he was the only one there. I mean, uh, this has got to be the only day that she wasn't, uh, you know, just loaded down with visitors. Because every time I've been there, it's just, it's just packed out, you know, and, and uh, so I'm sure it's going to be when I get there, but praise the Lord, and, um, you know, I say that with with a realization that, you know, there are people, well, you know, Haiti, one example in the news of sadness all over the world, you know, and in this hospital that I'm going to, just loaded down with sadness, people with with not such happy endings. And this isn't the end, actually. You know, Ashley's, of course, got herself a long road of recovery ahead of her, and, you know, it's still a very volatile situation, you know. I mean, when you're in a coma like that, and, you know, obviously, <laughs> that's not, that's not normal, you know, I mean. But it is amazing, it is amazing how the Lord puts us together and how he, how he, uh, you know, puts, People in a coma, you know, when when something uh, traumatic like that happens, and how, and it really makes you consider, you know, this this stuff didn't evolve. Our brains didn't evolve. They were created by the Almighty God, who is who is all knowing, all powerful, all holy and mighty, and, and the great Creator. And. Uh, I just thank the Lord for his deliverance here and uh, uh, continue to pray for Ashley, of course, and, and her husband, Jonathan, is, as I say, you know, a long road ahead. Another praise is that uh, their their expenses have been taken care of. I guess the uh, insurance all worked out. And uh, and so that's also a very, very much of a praise. Thank the Lord God. And I, I certainly thank you all for your prayers for my niece, Ashley. And uh, you know, I hope I can. Oh, I got to mention one other thing. This is something that I, I'm ashamed about. Lack of faith. When I first saw Ashley the day after her accident, I got to admit I had a, a vision of her being okay. And yeah, I didn't let anybody know. Actually, I told a friend of mine about it last night. But I mean, as far as family, you know, who could have used the encouragement. But I, but I, I mean, why didn't I think of this? I mean, who's going to give me this, this feeling of assurance? Certainly not the devil, not the evil one. He's the one who wants to make us doubt. And so the Lord can give me this vision of her sitting in a, in a wheelchair and being okay. And the wild thing about that is, you know, I've only met her once. And, you know, I don't, I don't know her well. I mean, I only saw her one time. I have only seen very limited pictures of her. In fact, the pictures I saw of her on Facebook that I posted with the prayer request, uh, that's the most I've seen of her. But it was before I'd seen those pictures even that I could picture her as being well and sitting in a wheelchair and laughing and, and all the rest, you know. Right? And I wish I would have told my family that, but I didn't. So I guess this is an encouragement to you. If, if ever you're in a situation and the Lord gives you confidence like that, speak, speak it. Don't hold back. Um, because, like I said, I mean, it's not the devil that's giving you these calm assurances and uh, a positive, you know, feeling in such a in such a tra traumatic situation. So, once again, bless the Lord, praise God, from whom all blessings flow. Is my. Uh, my nephew, Jonathan, Ashley's husband, keeps posting on his Facebook, you know, throughout this. This this kid has been the rock.
through this thing. Amazing. What a great guy she has for a husband. I once again thank you all for, for your concern.